Well, hello, Rabbitohs members and supporters. Welcome to the latest episode of the Rabbitohs Insider. As always, we'll be heading over to Red Fern Oval to speak with Mark Ellison and John Sutton as they bring us our Playmakers segment, proudly brought to you by Zoom Video Communications. Following that, we'll let you know everything that you need to know in our What You Need to Know segment brought to you by What If. Also brought to you by What If is our Pathways wrap-up with our Head of Pathways, Joe O'Callaghan. And finally, we have a special feature on the Vailalo family who had a weekend to remember, courtesy of the great people at What If. Let's get straight into it. It was a rough night at Stadium Australia last week against the Melbourne Storm. Mark Ellison and John Sutton have poured over the tape and they've put together our Playmakers segment brought to you by Zoom Video Communications. Once again, Zoom Video Communications brings us the Playmakers this week. John Sutton's with me again. Not our greatest performance on the weekend, John. Uh, definitely not. Um, you know, the boys went out there and just didn't give it their all and, um, you know, we're looking to improve a lot on that performance. Normally in this segment we talk about some of the things that we did well during the week. I mean, we've got to look forward to this week now and say what can we improve on what we've just done. Obviously there's made all some changes, um, having seven of the, you know, regular starters out, but um, in saying that, um, it's the next man up mentality and we need to have a better performance. Normally, you test the depth of your squad. You have to bring one or two players in if there's a few injuries. Of course, we had all those injuries come last week. We've still got Latrell suspended as well, so it's had a, quite an impact on our team. But I'm sure uh, our performance will be a lot better this week. Yeah, definitely. I think so as well. Um, you know, we'll review the game today and we'll get out there and train as hard as we can and um, definitely give a better performance than we did. Chance that Renault might be back this week too to give us you know, a bit of guidance. Cap Captain coming back in the team could help too. You know, he's been on fire this, this year, so definitely need him back to steer the troops around and um, yeah, it'd be good to have him back actually. So Cronulla, they're coming up a sort of similar, similar game than what we've had. So it should be a bit of a, a tough one for us again this week though. Yeah, look, they had a 48 nil, rule 50, but um, yeah, no, we've got to bounce back. There's only one way to go and, you know, we've got to rip in and do the hard yards and get the job done. We've got to find the magic for magic round. That's what we've got to do, don't we? 100%. Go the buddies. We've put that game against the storm behind us and we look forward to Saturday night when we take on the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks up at Suncorp Stadium. Here's what you need to know about that game brought to you by What If. Here's what you need to know about our round 10 clash against the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks brought to you by whatif.com, proud travel partner of the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Did you know since 2019, Rabbitohs members and fans have saved over $10,000 using whatif.com slash Rabbitohs? Here are some quick facts to watch out for as we travel to Suncorp Stadium for Magic Round. As thousands flock to Brisbane for Magic Round, there's bound to be plenty of red and green in the stands, and for good reason. As it stands, the South East Queensland corner is South Sydney's biggest membership stronghold outside of Sydney. With both sides failing to score a point last week and losing 50 nil and 48 nil respectively, South Sydney and the Sharks won't have to look far for motivation as they look to put their seasons back on track. In the past 10 matches between the two clubs, the ledger reads five wins each. The last time the two sides met was back in round one 2020 when South Sydney held on for a 22-18 win just two weeks before the season suspension. After returning from an Achilles injury in round seven, Kiwi international Sean Johnson has failed to fire in the past few weeks. At 30 years of age, Johnson is still a threat with ball in hand and will be looking to put the past few weeks behind him and rediscover the form of 2020 when he was crowned Cronulla's Player of the Year. In 2001, there were calls for the two clubs to merge. Thankfully, it never happened, but 20 years on, there's some shades of red and green in Cronulla with former Rabbitohs Connor Tracy, Marweni Hiroti, along with Toby Rudolph, who previously played in South Sydney's junior grades. Sia Sifatala Kai 
would have been another one had he not been suspended for a high shot during the Sharks' round seven loss to the Bulldogs. If you're travelling, remember Rabbitohs fans get 15% off select hotels through whatif.com slash rabbitohs. Use the promo code rabbitohs15, see the site for details. It's a big game for both teams. They'll both be looking to turn around their fortunes at Suncorp Stadium this Saturday night. We know the mighty Rabbitohs can get the job done. Now, of course, our Pathways teams have the bye this week, but they all played at the Ironmark High Performance Centre at Redfern Oval last weekend. Here's our Pathways wrap-up with our Head of Pathways, Joe O'Callaghan, brought to you by What If. Hi guys, welcome to another Pathways Wrap brought to you by What If. Uh, we had another massive weekend out at Redfern uh, in our Pathways program on the weekend with all three grades uh, coming out on the Saturday. In the Jersey flag uh, with seven SG Ball Boys on debut, we had a great win over the Manly Seagulls 30 to 16. Looking on to the New South Wales Cup game in a very seesawing game back and forth. Uh, the boys fought all the way to the end, unfortunately going down 30-18 to the Blacktown Worker Seagulls. And then the day was summed up with our Harvey Norman women's coming up against a very strong uh, top Central Coast uh, Roosters outfit, uh, with the girls obviously again fighting all the way to the end, unfortunately not getting that result, but continuing to show development week in, week out. Our feature story this week is looking at our recent uh, Junior Reps presentation evening, where we celebrated the success of our Harold Matthews and SG Ball seasons. Let's have a look at the award winners from the night and how it all went. Best and fairest, uh, Harold Matz, how's it feel? Uh, yeah, it feels good. Be grateful, I'm happy. It's a privilege, just real happy. I guess future, I know you just mentioned playing Jersey Flag and all that, but long term goal, what, what are they? NRL, I'm play NRL. Let's go, get to the top, be the best. What do you put uh, your success down to? Obviously the coaching and then just um, like the bonds we had as boys, like we were a real tight group and uh, I think that played a huge part in it. Great to look back at how much of an awesome night that was. Uh, can't wait to see those guys back in action uh, next season when they come back into our Junior Reps program for 2022. Luckily, we have uh, buys this weekend in our Jersey Flag Harvey Norman Women's and New South Wales Cup, which is much needed. Bit of time for everyone to recover, some key injuries get back on deck before we take on the Penrith Panthers uh, after the break. And also, just to wrap up our pathways for the week, massive shout out and congratulations to our three recent New South Wales City representatives with Davey Mawali, uh, named in the under 18 team, coming out of our SG Ball, and two of our Harvey Norman women's in Ali Johnson and Sally Malangi, uh, also getting representation in the New South Wales women's city team. Best of luck to those three, and we can't wait to see how they go in those colours. It was great to see our Pathways teams at the Ironmark High Performance last week with What If emblazoned across their jerseys. And speaking of What If, they put together a fantastic weekend for one of our SG Ball and Jersey flag players, Isaiah Vailalo, and his family recently. Here's our feature piece on what What If did for the Vailalo family. My name is Isaiah Vailalo. Uh, I play front row. I'm um, playing in the Rabbitohs SG Ball side. We're from a small country town called Charles Towers. It's been a while since all my family watched me last play a game of footy. So it's um, 
nearly half past six and we're just leaving this morning. We're going down to Sydney to CSI. We're just leaving home, which is Charters Towers. We've got a two hour trip to Townsville, um, which is the nearest airport. And we're going to pick up our son, Jacob, on the way. Hey mate, how you going? Hey, yeah, good, how are you? We've landed and we're just sort of um, going to our motel. Are you at work? Oh, see, so yeah, I'm just sort of on break at work. I remember my mum calling me when I was on my break and just telling me they landed safe and um, little did I know that I'd be seeing them at work just to see all their faces. Um, <laughs> I was a surprise, happy surprise, yeah. To be able to see them again face to face, no really greater feeling. Welcome everyone to Friday Night Football. Tedesco will kick off. Oh, the atmosphere is just surreal. Um, for the Rabbits fans, there's something different. They, they absolutely love it. It was one extreme to the other in a day, with them coming from Charles and then watching the, um, the Rabbits run out. Yeah, it was awesome. So it's Saturday morning, and we've had a nice sleep in and a good brekkie at the um, hotel, Ridges Hotel. Thank you, What If in South Sydney. We are heading off to Isaiah's game. Um, so we're excited to go and watch him. You know, Izzy's a big part of this SG ball team. He's been playing really well. So it's good to have his down here supporting him. And um, I'm pretty sure he'll put in a big game for you. Thanks again on behalf of our family. Um, my sister passed away Tuesday. So um, it's been pretty hard to try and not think of her, but enjoy being down here. Um, you know, thank you very much to sort of take that sort of pain away for the weekend for us as a family, so we really appreciate it and everything's been fantastic. So we're just so, so happy to be here. His journey to come here started at 10 years old. We've seen his hard work and the sacrifices that he's made to be playing for such a club like South. Yeah, I'm lost for words. So your auntie and uncle will be proud, man. Sure. <laughs> they would have, eh? Hey? We did well. It's good Thanks. to be here. Yeah. Oh. Hey, thank you. Oh, man, your team went awesome, man. Yeah. Like, good bunch of... Yeah, it's not to extra glue, like, we all get along well. Too. Yeah, oh, I can tell, and the like, vibe and all that. See out. the juices they give us? Yeah, those are... It's got our names on it. Yeah. It was a humbling experience and a great motivation for me to... Um, play the game uh, with everything I got. To be actually here and singing out to him, to hug him after the game, uh, to meet the whole team. I've heard it before and people say it, but it's, it's definitely the family club for me, in my opinion. 